So hello boys and girls, I'm Daniel, the friendly pitch professor, as you probably know by now. And um, yeah, I'm heading onwards to a new adventure. This time I'm heading to the Podium Conference in Maribor. I'm really excited to host it. I think it's my third or fourth time. Um, should be exciting. And yeah, I'll be taking you with me. But the most important part is, don't forget to subscribe. And if you've subscribed, somewhere down here, I think there is, or there, maybe here, there's like a bell icon. Click on that and then you uh, will have switched on the notifications, which means when I post a new video, you get notified and that's a good thing for you because you don't miss it and for me because that makes me smile. Yes, that was really smart. Anyhow, um, let's light up this little beauty. You may have met her in the last video. If you haven't, well, make sure to say hello to on this beautiful car and um, we're off. Three hours of ride and drive ahead. Let's go. So I've driven for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and yes, it's bucketing down with rain. It's not that bad right now, but the last hour was not that pleasant. Good that I have all-wheel drive, but you know, kind of when the sun's out is always a bit more fun. About half an hour to go, hour to go, and then uh, yeah, um, we'll have a briefing, uh, a final briefing, maybe short sound check. Maybe it's going to happen tomorrow, but let's see. And um, yeah, I'm a bit excited because tomorrow the first person on stage is going to be the Prime Minister. Um, and that's always exciting. Met him last year. Uh, nice guy, but still, you know, it's especially exciting. And um, there's always a lot of protocol to follow and so on. Uh, which is fine, but it always requires like that additional bit of preparation. But um, yeah, it'll be fine. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you more later. See ya. So I've just, uh, as you can see, I'm already suited up and um, I've just had my sound check on stage, kind of like 15 minutes until the conference is going to start. There's about 1,100 participants, so, oof. and um, well, one of them is the, actually the uh, Prime Minister, so uh, that makes it always a little more exciting. There's always more more add, things to add and, and, and consider and um, he's a great guy, just, you know, there's always a bit of protocol to follow and um, funny thing is like now I'm noticing the way kind of getting a bit tingly and um, yeah, I'm looking forward, like I'm, like I'm aching to get started. And the funny thing is like every, every time when I host conference like this, the more, in the morning when my alarm bell goes, I go like, oh God, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Oh my goodness. This, oh. And I kind of have this like nervous feeling and I go like, Ugh. and once I have my shower and I kind of get into gear, it kind of gets better. And once I get out of the hotel room or wherever I'm staying, Ah, kind of, it's, it, it's cool. Suddenly I notice, yes, this is working and um, now I'm, as you can see, kind of like preparing my stuff. This is actually really nice because I have a bit of a, an area where I can work and um, now I'm aching to get on stage and get feeling excited and um, yeah, fun two days ahead. Um, let's see how much I can take you on stage or not. Let's see if that's going to work. Probably not right now with the Prime Minister, but let's see. And. Um, yeah, it's just so funny. It's like my probably my 200, 250th conference. I don't know what I've, I've kind of lost count, but I still get this kind of nervous feeling before, and I just understand how important it is for my own process of preparing. And it's kind of it shows me I'm, I'm taking it seriously enough, and yeah, I'm liking that. So let's do this. It's gonna be cool. So as you can see by the light, I'm already backstage. The room is filling quickly and um, yeah, kind of awesome. My adrenaline's going up. We're still kind of waiting for the last people to arrive. Should get kicking in two or three minutes. I don't know if you saw this, but um, fun times ahead. So I've just come come off the stage, uh, kind of just spent the last half an hour on stage, super exciting. I don't know if you can see kind of the adrenaline still pouring out of me, but it was really fun. And um, yeah, what I really liked was, was, was the Prime Minister coming on stage because he's a really interesting character and um, he's a fun character and he, he said something interesting. He said Slovenia is the land of startups and Slovenia is the only country that contains love in its, in its word, in its name. And then he went on to quote Steve Jobs, so that was quite cool. And um, as he was a fun character, and it kind of, because the second time we met, 
I just couldn't hold back to kind of imitate a Bond villain and say, we meet again on stage, Prime Minister. And when I did that, I was like, oh my God, did I just do that? Um, well, I did. Um, and he kind of blanked and he, was, and he was amused, but I love these moments where you do something you would normally not dare to do and you kind of push it a little further, but all in good, in good, in, in good way. And it kind of works and people enjoy it and you kind of also manage to, to create a, a, a fun scenario. So that was cool. The conference is going out, a great speakers, uh, really looking forward to things to come. And um, yeah, let's do more good stuff. So it's day two of the Podium Conference and um, yesterday went quite well, really action-packed day. Um, curious to see what today brings, but there's already one observation I made and that's uh, timekeeping. Not on my side, but more on the speakers. Um, I'll tell you more about that. So, I'm on the stage now of the Podium Conference and I was just saying timekeeping is everything. Now have a look at the stage with me. So let's turn around, there's some people preparing and here we have the audience and here's the most important screen in the world and it's there. Sorry for staring at the screen so much but I have to find it. That's the timer so if you are on a stage, first thing you should do is familiarize with the stage, take a look around and see where is the timer, where is the clock, how does it work. Then obviously what you also require is see where is your preview screen which is that one. Don't forget the clicker. And um, try and try and try and kind of be on stage early, that you know where is the things you need, what you require to to, to work while well on stage, to focus. Um, and when you are on stage, kind of always have a glance at it. That's the best way. So find a setting, a natural setting, where you can see all of these. But really seriously, keep an eye out on the time, manage it well, and enjoy yourself because the ones that are going to be sitting here are going to judge you by your performance and if you manage to deliver or not. Um, speaking of which, at this point in time is kind of also quite cool because I'm going to announce the last few speakers on stage and then it's time for the big finals. I don't know how much uh, camera work I'll be able to do but long story short, it's about one and a half hours where I get to stand on this stage and uh, it's going to take a lot of freestyling and I always love it a lot but um, that's usually where the well, anxiety is a wrong word, but where kind of the bees come back into my into my stomach because, uh, yeah, there's always a lot relying on the, on the host, which is on me in that case or the MC or whatever you want to call it. Um, should be exciting. This is where we'll have the jury, who will be quoting and then checking out the quality of the startups. And um, let's see, let's see what I can tell you. Maybe a little bit more from stage later. Let's see. Bye bye. So, the advice I would like to give you is a very simple one, and that's quite simple. If you're pitching, and you're pitching to a jury, or you, have a co-founder observe their faces. Because I cannot tell you how much I can learn from standing here and looking into their eyes. Some of the answers you give, they go like, hmm. Some of the answers you give, they go like, when you're bitching, you don't see that because the adrenaline is pumping out of your ears. If your co-founder happens to stand there, he or she can take note. So do that, trust me, but the only thing is, don't be too obvious. Don't stare at them and don't say Daniel told you. Okay, I've got 700 people in the room, but still. Anyhow, did you like the advice? Thank you very much. Happy that worked. So, uh, the amazing podium conference just come to an end. Um, I so enjoy coming here, it's such a great level of networking, really good pitches. Um, as every year I learn so much, get to meet so many exciting people and um, I'm a bit biased, but when I can, if, if I can advise you to do one thing is come along, give it a shot and believe me, you will enjoy yourself. And uh, yeah, now back to Vienna.